All right, so I want to do a little video talking about the wiring for the AR4 robot. Um, the wiring is very similar to how uh, Chris Annan has his diagrams. Uh, basically, everything coming up to the sides here is the same. Um, where it differs a little bit is in the box itself. Um, so what I've done is I've created an updated uh, wiring diagram, which you can see on the left here which I will post somewhere on the internet and I'll add a link in the description to this video. Um, and uh, basically I'm gonna go through the wiring and what's different. So before I talk about the wiring, let's first talk about the software. Um, the software is a fully uh, JavaScript based, web based uh, interface and control mechanism. Um, in order to control a uh, Arduino or a Teensy in this case, with uh, JavaScript or any other language that's not the native language on the Arduino, you need to use what's called a Fermata. Um, so there is a uh, Fermata that has basically been um, generated and put onto that Teensy board. Um, it includes things like uh, Excel stepper Fermata, uh, encoder Fermata, and some other things, um, which will allow you to control the Teensy through many languages. I happen to use JavaScript in this case. You could also use Python and anything that can talk to that formata. That is a, that is a standard communication for um, a, a computer through serial uh, to uh, the formata on the Arduino itself. Um, so in this case, I'm using uh, Formata.js uh, with the help of a library called Johnny5. Um, that way everything is written in JavaScript, um, including the front end. So, all commands to the Teensy are sent over serial and all feedback is sent over serial, uh, but there's still a lot of stuff that's done on the board itself um, for uh, things like controlling the stepper motors. Because I use the Fermata, um, what I needed to do, and I did a lot of testing, is that in Chris's wiring diagram, you will find that all of the uh, pulse and direction pins are wired to the negative versus mine, it's wired to the positives. Um, so that's one of the bigger significant differences. Um, again, not huge, the different, all the pins are about the same, uh, but I'm using the positive pulse and direction instead of the negative pulse and direction. Uh, instead of jumping um, power, uh, five volts, uh, across all of the pins, I just run ground across all of those, which you can see as well in the wiring diagram. Um, you can see 24 volt positive and negative just jumps all the way across. And then what I did here is I actually color coded um, the different colors that come out of the motors, which is always uh, black, green, red, and blue in the case of the AR4 kit. Um, it shows what color corresponds to what pin on the motor controller itself. Um, I also have shown here where the limit switch pins are. Um, and then you know, through uh, deduction, all the other pins are just used for the encoders. So I did not put the encoder mapping on here because it wasn't, um, you know, it wasn't that necessary. I didn't want to put too much on this diagram. Um, so yeah, so basically I'm using the positive pins on the pulse and directions to the negatives. Uh, everything's wired up about the same with the exception of uh, this uh, pin over here, which is going to be 10. So in Chris's diagram, he has 10 and 11 as the last two control pins for the stepper. But in my case, um, I actually use 10 for the signal pin on the um, servo for the gripper. And I just moved those down to uh, 11 and 12 for the last uh, pulse and direction pin. The reason for that was because there was a limitation with the Fermata where you can only control up to the first 11 um, digital pins. For servos, <clears throat> I didn't look into if there was a solution to that. There probably is a solution to that, but I didn't go down that rabbit hole. I just moved the two pins. So if you did pull my source code and try to run it, just know that that is another difference there. Um, also shown in this diagram is how I went from 24 to 5 volts. I powered the Raspberry Pi. I powered the um, servo, and I just connected the Raspberry Pi's USB out to the uh, Teensy's USB. And one thing to note here is that in the box uh, versus this diagram, um, the uh, Teensy's actually um, 
you know, upside down on the box versus the wiring diagram where the USB is at the top. The USB is actually on the bottom here. Um, so basically, again, you can't really see too much in this video. Um, that's why I'm going to post this diagram online so you can actually see it better. But I wanted kind of a step-by-step -step walkthrough to explain um, all of that information here. Uh, one thing I actually left out that I don't want to uh, forget before I end this video is that you'll see a lot of blue lines coming off of the enable pins. Uh, I wanted to be able to software disable this. Um, so what I did is I actually took and added uh, a additional wire for each um, stepper motor controller and went to um, these uh, last six pins down here. Uh, I believe it's 33 through 38. Um, so those are hooked up for enable and disable. So if you do decide to use uh, my software for this, you need to make sure those are hooked up. Otherwise, the motors will never become enabled. Um, and with that, that's, uh, I think, a full walkthrough of this wiring. Um, again, very, very similar to Chris's wiring, um, you know, all the way up to the box. It's exactly the same, but inside the box is a little bit different for the reasons that I described. So hope that helps you guys, um, and I'll see you in the next video.